I've made images all my life. The need to make images is very deep and basic, I think, to most people. Making images is a powerful way of exploring thoughts and feelings that we have within ourselves. We can be very expressive, and I think the whole idea about being expressive perhaps goes at a very deep and a very old level. Sometimes it's just simply an idea. I do keep a log of ideas. Once the image is set, then I go looking for supporting material to help me bring that image more to life. It's about me or it's a picture of myself or my emotional thoughts or my conceptual ideas at that time and place when those ideas were important to me. A way of translating for myself what the outside world is saying and I'm finally able to understand it, and my images show that understanding. Creating art requires analysis, comparing of shapes. How big is this compared with that? You know, is this or that in proportion? We need to make images. It's part of who we are as a people, whether we need to make images to communicate or to instruct or to share, we need to make images. The tools that I need when I create images, obviously paint, brushes, canvas. I mean, the tools are fairly ordinary for artists. We need to make images in modern day medicine to help make diagnosis. Many people update their cell phones or get a new cell phone every two or three years. Quite frankly, your old cell phone just starts to slow down and can't do things that, uh, say, your friend's new phone can do. If a doctor from the 1930s just showed up now in our facility, I think they would be absolutely floored. Through imaging, you can see inside the body now with CT. We're able to see the bones so much better with x-ray. MRI is providing a, an excellent picture of the brain and the spinal cord. We're able to see things that they would have not even imagined possible in the 1930s and 1940s. It's like magic. The art and the science of medicine starts with seeing your family doctor, or the emergency room doctor, or the clinician's provisional diagnosis that they acquired from history and physical exam that leads to proper imaging test. And from that, we obtain images Imaging may be normal. This is useful in that it helps rule something out. That's good to know. Or if it comes up positive, then we've got the answer. So with the current technology, now able to acquire the images in multiple planes and projections, much crisper images, which allows for earlier and more accurate diagnosis. There's also a difference in speed of acquisition of those images and acquisition of those studies. It's changed vascular imaging. We can now do angiograms, imaging of a blood vessel. A CT scanner from 20 years ago was not fast enough to image a blood vessel. We need to make images in this day and age of medicine to come up with and provide diagnosis.